vectors in elementary physics. Geometrically, a vector is just an arrow that stores two pieces of information, the length and the direction. The length of the arrow, magnitude, which can represent such things as the amount of force, velocity, position, etc., and the direction. The direction or angle is often measured from a horizontal initial side, although the initial side may vary depending upon the situation. The vector could be uh, written as A with a little arrow on top. See, that's got to go straight like that, and it goes off to the side. It's a little half hour arrow. And it could equal R, which is uh, its length, and theta, which is its angle, uh, from some predetermined initial side. If you have just A by itself, or the vector A with a little arrow on top with in absolute value signs, uh, this refers only to the magnitude or length of the vector and is the same as R. Below is a vector A. Let's take a look at a vector. Here it is. There is the arrow, right? Okay, it's arrow. You notice it has a length, a certain amount of length, and then it has a direction from an initial side, a predetermined initial side. Well, that's misspelled, isn't it? Vectors. Uh, two vectors are equal if they have the same length and direction. Okay. Uh, we can multiply a vector by a real number called a scalar. If we multiply the vector a below by the number 2, we make the vector a twice as long, but it goes in the same direction. So if you have a and 2a is just the same direction, but notice it's, now the vector is twice as long. If we multiply b below by one third, we make the vector b one third as long, but it goes in the same direction. So here's b going this way, okay, and here's b over three, or one third times b. You notice it's about one. Th it looks at one third as long. If you multiply a, a vector by negative one, you get the same vector except that it's pointed in the opposite direction. And you could actually multiply not by negative 2. It would make it twice as long and make it go in the, uh, the opposite direction. But if you just multiply it by negative 1, the effect is the same vector, except it's, it's doing exactly 180 degrees in the other direction. Same length of vector, anyway. A vector that is exactly one unit long is called a unit vector. In particular, the unit vector that's uh, 1, where r length of 1 and 0 is the angle, we write that as i with a little cap on it. And the unit vector 1 and 90, j, uh, those are special unit vectors. As, as we shall see later, any vector, any vector you can write can be written as a form, a sum of two unit vectors. Okay, in other words, a could be some number times uh, i plus some number times j, where a and b are real numbers. We don't have to worry about that right now, but it can be done, written that way. Definition, the head of a vector is the end that contains the point, here's the head, and the tail is the other, other end of the vector. So we can have talk about which end of the vector we're talking about. Okay, and adding vectors, uh, the geometric interpretation. Adding vectors, <clears throat> given a and b, here's a black a and a, a red b, uh, we can construct a plus b by placing the tail, let's get this thing all up here, Placing the tail of B at the head of A and connecting the only available head and tail with a line to make a triangle. Next, we put the head um, of A plus B, the blue line, at, at the head of B, and the blue vector is A plus B. So how you add two vectors is this. I'm going to add A and B, so I put a, B on top of A, like this, and then I draw this blue line here, which is going to be uh, uh, eventually, well, it's eventually going to be a plus b. And then um, I, I put, where do I put the head here? I've got the length of a plus b. Well, I put it at the head of b here, This the only head that is available and the only tail available. And this blue vector here is a plus b. By the way, it doesn't matter. You'll get the same vector if you add uh, b plus a together. It'll end up being the same thing. You can check that out if you want. All right, and here's subtraction. We construct the vector a minus b by placing the tails of both vectors together and drawing a line between the two heads. So this is going to be our uh, a minus b. And you put the head of a minus b at the head of a and the tail of a minus b at the head of b. 
and you get this blue vector here which is called a minus b